Hi there. It really is nice to see you for once below the surface, because down here there's lots to do. Right at the start, I'd like to introduce you to this old yawl, which sank here off the Finnish coast 40 years ago. The name of the yawl was Clara. Even though the winter pack ice has treated Clara badly, her woodwork is still well preserved. The ship worm, which bores into the side of wooden ships, doesn't like the low salt content of this water, and for that reason there are hundreds of well-preserved wrecks down here at the bottom of the Baltic. And that's a good thing, of course. In the Finnish archipelago, navigation signs are anchored to the bottom, like this. This is my friend, the lampfish. She enjoys visiting the wreck of the Clara. She actually comes here the salty ocean and is right on the limits of survival here. I myself prefer fresh water lakes, but I can get along quite nicely here too. But let's go nearer to the shore over the top of Clara and up to the jetty near the lighthouse. the jetty where the holiday makers tie up their boats and a lot of people visit here. of rubbish on the bottom during the summer. Now I don't think that's right, because the sea is not supposed to be a rubbish dump. During the summer, people come here to the island of Ute from many of the Baltic countries and further afield. I do think it's well worth coming here because the scenery in the Finnish offshore islands is very beautiful, especially above the surface, but down below too. Those little mussels are a great delicacy for many fish 
and for the creatures above the surface, people and birds. And when those minnows feel danger approaching, they warn one another by emitting a warning liquid. Can you see over there a pike? Let's watch the man with the harp boom for a while. fishing a bit strange you don't see a lot of it around here mind you there are lots of nets in these waters the fishermen are probably not too happy because they haven't got any scalping still they haven't done badly for flounder Oh dear, now a couple of fellows seem to have got caught. I really don't think I can do anything to help them in case I get stuck in the net myself. This, this is very unpleasant. An abandoned net drifting on the bottom and catching fish all the time. Nobody bothered to lift it out. You really should tell people to be more careful with their nets. This kind of thing is no good for anyone.
But let's move on and swim out to sea, away from the island shores. Follow me, but be careful. It's going to get deep soon. Isn't it cold? But now we are on the bottom, thirty meters down. And over there is one of the most famous sites in the whole area, the steamship Park Victory, one hundred and forty meters long. She sank here on Christmas Eve, nineteen forty-seven. The vessel was anchored off the island of Ute on Christmas Eve. At night, a storm blew up, and the Park Victory struck a reef. Her left side was holed. The engine room was soon flooded, and the vessel sank in twenty minutes. Fortunately, most of the crew were able to reach safety in time. Let's dive under the foremast. As you can see, the foredeck is badly damaged. The ship is virtually broken in two near the bridge on the port. <laughs> I mean, the left side. But the midship section is still fairly intact. Now the whole wreck is blanketed in barnacles and mussels. The Park Victory had refueled for the journey back from Holland to the United States. So at the time of the accident, she was carrying a lot of oil, and the oil is still there. Of course, the tanks are being eaten away by rust, and some day they are going to break open. I don't want to be around when they do. Some people claim that there is enough oil in the tanks to irreparably pollute twenty cubic kilometers of water. That really is a lot. It could destroy the fishing waters within a radius of several kilometers from the lighthouse. For the moment, everything is all right. And the godfish can live happily in the ship's cabins and corridors. What's going on on the bridge over there? Say, my friend, the lampfish seems to have dropped in. By the way, some of the water birds can dive very deep. Some time ago, one of the island fishermen. Said that he had found male eider ducks 
caught in his net at a depth of 50 meters. They were down there looking for mussels. We were down in the hole just then. We were at the depth of 34 meters and the water temperature was only 4 degrees centigrade. The water here is too cold for me, even in the summer. I might fall ill. And I'll be hungry soon. It'll soon be time for my evening feed. So let's go back, upswim towards the shore. But before I leave you and go my way, I would just like to say that you people really should take better care of your waters. Below the surface, lots of interesting things are going on. There are many things worth preserving. What if we agree to try together to keep them clean so that our grandchildren will still be able to enjoy them? Bye-bye.